Hi hey everybody, I'm back on Auto Trader and I thought I'd do a fun one today. Let's look for a thousand CC for a thousand pounds. One pound per CC. If you haven't seen the previous videos I've done in this style, I've done one that's like a buying guide for a Suzuki DRZ 400SM in the UK. Uh, we've looked for the bike with the most miles on Bike Trader. We've looked for the best 125cc under 1500 quid. We've looked for the most expensive motorcycles on Bike Trader. We've looked for the best 125cc for 500 quid. <laughs> oh god. And we also look for the best A2 bike under three grand. Five things before I start. Please leave a like, I really would appreciate it. Please subscribe if you're not. I'm on my way to 100k and I'd really appreciate the help on that one. If you really enjoy this content, maybe consider joining my Patreon, it's just a buck a month. Also note that I use a trackball mouse and thus I do not have a middle button to open a new window using the middle button. <laughs> this comes up every single time. And the last thing we're going to put aside is the fact that lots of thousands or what are listed as thousands might have 980 cc's or something like that. Let's not split hairs. This is supposed to be a bit of fun. We're going to have a look through Auto Trader. I'm also going to go to like eBay and maybe Gumtree and we're going to just have a look around and try and find that bike for a thousand for a thousand. Okay, well I've just put in from 1000 to 1000, from 1000 to 1000 and we've got one bike and it's not even a bike, it's just a listing um, saying, you know, like advertising they'll buy bikes. So, we're going to have to go to 1500 and work on the basis we can knock them down. Five bikes available, that's more like it. Yeah, this is what came up before. Contestant number one, a Honda VTR 1000 Firestorm X996cc. That's close enough, we'll accept that. 1999, 48,000 miles, 1,000 cc, 108 brake horsepower. Honda's V-Twin Big Thumper sports bike in the best color. Comes with a long MOT and easily slip on and off seat cowl. Only four previous owners, previous MOTs, and a Honda owner's manual. Part exchange is welcome and delivery may be possible. Please telephone to discuss. Okay, they're saying nothing about how it runs or anything like that, but it's, um, it's nearly a 20 year old bike. It's got nearly 50,000 miles on it. That's about a good amount I would say have to say I'm not the biggest fan of its looks but I bet that thing sounds amazing next up BMW K100 1000cc I see these are being snapped up by people to do its custom projects I have noticed it's a 1990 57,000 miles extremely reliable and very comfortable the best version without the problematic ABS and more reliable 8-valve engine. This bike has been very well looked after, with lots of service history, mostly carried out by James Sherlock, BMW specialist. Ah yes, good old James. £800 spent this year, including new front wheel, new rear disc, new accelerator cable. Why aren't you calling it a throttle cable, please? Uh, new battery, recent brake pads and tyres. Still was very... Okay, at first, when they said, oh, I've spent £800 like this year, I'm like, all right. Whenever anyone says that, they've got themselves in a money hole and they don't want to get any deeper. Those things, though, are all maintenance-based. That actually sounds like they've just serviced it and got it up to a good, saleable level. You could turn that into some 80s anime-looking bike. It was already halfway there. So far, I probably would take that BMW because it's just kind of cool. Uh, we have the Honda XL1000V. Looks okay. Alright. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing particularly scary looking about this. Crash bars don't appear to be too badly damaged, so I don't think it's really been down the road. 1999, 1000cc, 35,000 miles. Oh, that's not too bad mileage. Oh, now they're shouting. Long MOT till March 2020. Six months nationwide warranty included. Absolute full service history. Starts and rides perfect. Very good condition for the age and mileage. No expense spared on this. Well looked after. A mobilizer fitted. Just been serviced recently. We accept all major credit and debit cards. Nationwide delivery. Also available. Jesus. Okay, next up we have another BMW. Um, slightly different model. Again, shouting. Genuine UK bike with only three previous owners and 35,000 miles, which is incredibly low for a BMW of this year. That's pretty true. Last owner had it since 2002. Being the LT model, it comes with BMW detachable luggage. If you're looking for a BMW K100 LT, there can't be many left as good as this one. It's an extremely good original order throughout and may be of interest to a collector or possibly someone looking to create a special built cafe racer, etc. 
This bike starts. That's great. Runs and rides very well. With MOT until the end of Feb, no advisories, but would not hesitate to put through a fresh 12 months MOT for a new buyer. A lovely old bike. 1,500 pounds. Sorry, I'm getting a bit carried away reading these things. Okay, I think I prefer the other one, but this has got a lower mileage. They've still got the tax. Is that the tax disc holder? Can we see that from a closer angle? Have they kept it on there for posterity? Can we see that side of the wheel? Yes, we can. Where is it? It is indeed a tax disc holder, but there's... Does that say 2015? It does. Okay, from those four... I pick this one and I try and knock them down, but I don't think you're going to get them down 400 quid. You could try. You could really try. It's not really what I had in mind as a thousand for a thousand, though. Where are all the old, like, you know, let's look in the 2000 range very quickly. What I had in mind more was something like this for a thousand pounds, but this thing looks clean. If you're into retro bikes, that thing is in good condition. Damn. Uh, it might not be quite as good as the pictures show. Look, you've got a bit of rustiness going on here. So underneath those fairings, it might not be quite as good. But yeah, it looks pretty damn good. But it's too expensive. I'm afraid, boys, we're going to have to go to the depths of the internet. Okay, so we are looking for motors. We are looking for motorcycles and vehicles. Okay, so we've got a 1997 Yamaha YZF R1 Thunder Race. Um, okay, bit hard to tell from these pictures exactly what sort of condition it's in. Chain looks very rusty. We've got a lot of, a lot of grime and grot going on down here. Looks a bit corroded. Rusty bolts, rusty discs. How is that rear disc rusty? This thing either hasn't run for a long time, or they have just run it, and that's just deposited a load of rust all over the disc. Is that a crack? That really looks like a crack to me. Um, yeah, a bit of rustiness going on there. Chain sprocket is not the end of the world. Oh, hold on a minute. E. Yeah, this thing's been into the ground pretty hard. All these fairings are broken. This fairing's broken. At least they're showing good pictures of it. Being honest, yeah, the engine casings look all right. The fairings took most of the brunt. So we've got some cracking on the tank. What's this? Is that a moth? Is that a bit of poo? Is that where he came off? Crash bunk. He, he's been down both sides. How has it been down both sides? That makes me think this thing has flipped. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. What, what, what's, the, what's the listing saying? Private sale. This bike doesn't belong to us and isn't covered by us. We're selling on behalf of a customer who suffered a stroke and is unable to ride anymore. Therefore, sold as seen private sale. Okay, okay. Get that. I get that. Up for sale, a 1997 Yamaha YZF-R1. MOT runs out July 2020. Bike starts and runs as soon. Oh, good. I'm glad to know that it runs as soon. Data tool, alarm fitted, V5 and one key, one fob. HPI and cat clear. Does have some cracked panels. Some... Uh, as you can be seen, some faded other panels, big cheap box. Front tires on the limit and needs replacing. Okay, well, it is very cheap. They have been completely honest about it all. If you want to do a lot of work to end up with that bike, then yeah, I mean, what's the mileage on it? That's something I didn't look at. 1997 with 30,000 miles on it. It's going to need a fair amount of work done to it. I can see that's something that someone's going to customise. Wow, look at that. You can get a 2020 MV Augusta Rush 1,000 for just £1,000 like to hold you to that <laughs> oh god yeah i remember i saw this one and i thought but god look at that honda cbr 1000 1988 homemade chopper style sold as spares of repairs was running was 395 quid that sounds like was running will never run again okay so what have they actually done to this thing well the fairings are off so you know it's been crashed those look like some dirt bike handles from something and these forks look a little bit longer than they should be not sure where they've come from. We might find out more information in a minute. We've got an oil cooler going on here. Radiator. There is... Why are the hoses coming up over the seat with a pump? A hand pump. What we can say about this person is their neighbours absolutely hate them. At 7 o'clock in the morning when they start this thing up. Jesus Christ. Four straight scaffold pipes, basically. That thing is just going to be ridiculous. So this hose goes up here, goes to... What the... It looks like a pop-up pirate on the back. 
Is this like an extra fuel tank and he pumps it over when he needs it? Or is this actually what the bike's run? No, that can't work. It's done 14 and a half thousand miles. Yeah, right. Uh, Honda CB under the hardtail chop still. Sh hardtail? I didn't notice. They actually have turned this into a hardtail. How have they made it a hardtail? How has that swing arm been? Oh, dear God. Why have you uploaded that picture? Nip and Mike's bike shed 2015 to 2016. Oh, God. They've put the iron cross flipping light on it as well. And the tank's not straight. How have they locked the swing arm? That's the thing I'm trying to work out because it's alley. I don't think they could have welded it. It's not just the brackets holding the... I don't know. Until I could actually look at it closer, I'm going to tell I'm going to... I'm not going to cast any more dispersions over it. Hardtail Chop still has short MOT and was running a few months ago with independent fuel supply. It's a bit crude. All right, fair, fair, fair enough. It is pretty crude, you're being honest. <laughs> I don't know who'd like it, but whatever. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm trying not to yuck someone's yummy. You might look at this and go, I love that bike. That thing's awesome. Say in the comments. I dare you. Well... For 395 quid, I'd say that someone might be able to get themselves some discs, maybe some brakes. Actually, no, the discs look like they've got ridges on them. They're pretty old. Calipers probably aren't too much good. Um, I was going to say the engine, but then it's not running. But then that might be because they're using a pop-up pirate on the back as a fuel tank. <laughs> it looks like a wooden cask. Hold on, eBay may have saved us. Honda VTR 1000 for sale in Guildford. MOT until February, 27,000 miles, average condition, 1,300 pounds or near offer, some service history and aftermarket can. Okay, from these pictures we can see there's a very rusty looking exhaust. Bodywork looks pretty much undamaged. This is looking a different tone, but whatever. Um, can't see too much detail because they've taken this picture in portrait when it's quite clearly a landscape shaped thing. Okay, well they've switched to landscape but stood up and not got down lower so you can actually see the side of the bike. By the way, I've also done a video on taking pictures of bikes to sell them better so you can actually show people the bike. No real detail to be seen there. And oh great, then now we have more actual garage pixels than the entire bike. You want to kind of make most of the pixels in a picture the thing that you're selling. Just saying. Ask for details. No, I'd like more details than that. What a shame. That looks like a possibility. Uh, that's when we saw 900. No use. I've just checked. This is the V-Twin 1000. So, 1998. Uh, model has aftermarket exhausts. Sounds very nice. I'm actually pretty sure it probably does. Starts on the button. Pillion seat also present. Brakes work well. Forks are clean. No leaks. Or putting engine run nicely. Oh, pitting. Engine runs nicely, rear tyre is like new, front tyre is not so good, was going to use for a trap bike, but another baby is on her way, needs to sell. Okay, let's look at the pictures. You could have waited for when it wasn't raining, you could have waited for a brighter day, you could have not used a potato to take the picture. Sorry, I'm just really fussy about images. Unfortunately, I lost the V5 when moving full receipt will be given. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I just got distracted by why there is a 1998 Ducati on here for £895. And then I went and looked into the end. Yeah. Money hole. If you could find the pass, you know, you could have quite a nice bike there. Right, well, I haven't seen anything come flying at me, so I'm going to say a thousand for a thousand. Personally, me, I would have gone... Okay, this is all theoretical speaking, but if I had the money to have a, a thousand CC for a thousand that I wanted to, like, you know, do a little bit of work on and then just get on the road as a, as a bike, I'd probably go for something like this. I think it actually would be pretty cool. I know it's not the coolest bike these days and it's probably not the best riding, but I think you could do something really interesting with that. But I'm positive there are some better options out there for a thousand for a thousand. But it seems like it is possible that you could get a thousand cc bike for a thousand pounds and it might actually be all right. What I say, one of the reasons why I've gone for this is because it's not the pick that everyone would make. It would bring the price down a bit. Okay, I know these are becoming more popular with some people, but if he's got to this point in life and they've done that 800 pounds worth of stuff they spent on it, 
if it sounds okay, it'll go for a few more years and you'll get your money's worth out of it. And it'll be something different. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. Huge thanks to my Patreon supporters as always. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.